I'm actually getting ready to go to the bookstore. We're in with little baby. Memories. You almost fell on the book. Auntie Sweet Pumpkin. But sometimes I get into like a reading slump and I, I don't want that to affect me. Hey guys, you guys can see a mess back there, but we're gonna ignore it. I'm actually getting ready to go to the bookstore. I just wanna go get some books and I wanna see if they have that fourth wing book that everybody's talking about and see what it's about really. So I'm finishing up my makeup, throwing on something real simple. Hopefully I get some books and some coffee. I'm doing a limit though because I'm starting a new job because I haven't been working, but I'm trying to like have a little bit of money still. So my limit is two books. If I get one, even better. But I do want to get like an LGBTQ plus book, like a pride book. So I think I'm going to get like two books if I get the fourth wing book as well. That's kind of the move for today. Maybe I'll like even sit down and read a little bit. Hi. Hi. Would you like to drop me off at the bookstore? No, not really. I want to go to the gym, You don't have to wait there for me. You could just drop me off if you want. Well, I'm ready. So call me when you're close. I am, literally. My makeup is done. All right. I love you. Bye. Bye. So I don't have to take the bus and I don't have to waste money on an Uber that I don't have. So my sister's gonna drop me off and hopefully she stays so that we can then go to the gym after. Have you ever been to the gym in a full face makeup? I have. As you can see, like my acne scars still through my makeup, which is kind of ghetto. I really have been doing like really light makeup and I've only been using concealers. I have not been using foundations and I have so many dark spots because I was really acne prone as a child and as a teenager, but makeup is still cute. Maybe I'll do like, I don't know, a makeup tutorial. I feel like that's so weird to do on this channel, but I kind of want to make this like a vloggy kind of channel as well. So we shall see. I'm wearing my glasses today because I got to observe the books and see how they really is, you know? I've never vlogged at a bookstore, so it's going to be really kind of nerve-wracking, but um, is it giving with the matte or should I like add a gloss? Add a little bit. Period. That's so cute. Um, I'm supposed to be cleaning my room, but I'll do it when I come back as like, okay, you went and spent money that you should not be spending. Not clean your room type of thing. It is literally so hot outside. And so I want to wear like a spaghetti strap or something like that. Like if I'm wearing this, but I did not shave my underpits. So I have to wear like kind of like a short sleeve to hide the fact that I haven't shaved my underpits. I mean, I don't really care, but it's just, I kind of do care. Just a little bit. I care a little bit. My cat literally just scratched me. Sometimes I wonder why I have a cat should be real lucky i love him actually a lot i have so many scars from this cat so many scars from this cat just thought about it and i've always set a limit every time i went to the bookstore and no matter how many times i set a limit i just i just be out here breaking whatever i say I'm, like, I'm only gonna buy three books buy 10 it's actually insane but i'm not doing that this time because i don't got 10 book funds okay i got enough for maybe five books and a coffee but i'm not even gonna get five books we're conserving our money i have so many books that i want to read this summer that i already have so i don't need to go and buy more books but it's just the principle of having books i was thinking about getting a kindle but like it's not worth it for me because i'm gonna just want to buy the physical book every single time and that's just a waste of my money today i'm wearing just a basic pair of jeans and this shirt, it's like has so much cat hair all in it because I have a cat, but I have two cats actually. One is my mom's cat and one is mine. And this lovely black button up shirt. I feel like I should add more color, but I'm not. Guys, my sister is literally downstairs right now. I have to do her eyebrows in the car, so I have to get the tent that I use. I'll see you guys downstairs. Guys, we're here. Barnes and Nobles. Everything goes white I can feel the breeze Euphoric delight Thank you. Say hi, oh. Oh, I forgot you got the eyebrows. Don't press now you don't know about. I know about this. Shit. Upset my camera settings. Okay, okay. That, so guys, okay, just if you want to zoom it out, just press. Wait, I got you, I got you. Please don't press now you don't know about. Because sometimes if you press the wrong buttons, it start going in slow motion. Okay, I got you. Do what you do? Still? So guys, I got the books. I got two books. I got The Song of Achilles because I've always wanted to read it. And you know, Pride Month, so why not? And then I got The Secret History by Donna Tart. And she got it all close. I just, I just, she just, she's not good at this. And they didn't have Fourth Wing because it sold out everywhere apparently because y'all just fiends. But it's okay because I'm going to order it. You want to go get it? Fiend. Shut up. 
Sh shut up. Stop my route. Okay, okay, then mind your business. So I'm gonna order it on Amazon, but they don't have like the paperback. That's the thing, and I don't like hardcover books. And then I got some oatmeal raisin cookies from the Starbucks and the Barnes and Nobles, and I got a, I got a coffee. Hopefully it tastes good, I didn't taste it yet. Why would they do this? Now we're going to go get my baby, and we're gonna go take her on a walk, and we're gonna probably go to the gym. We are going to the gym. I don't know about her because she always said we're going to the gym and then we don't go. So, Harry has cookies. You sure it's from your bag? Yeah. I don't know which one that is, but eat it. You're ready with the Indians. You know, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. I try to get my sister to read books with me, but she just don't want to. I'm going to call me my eyebrows like this. You just never want to read a book with your sister. I read my books. What happened? I'm serious. I forgot what happened. What happened? Wait, what else happened? Who else would do this to me? Your son did that? <laughs> Ooh. My daughter would never. Cause she a girl and she know her limits. Boys don't know limits. Don't blame that shit on gender. I don't get my trials before you. All right, go get baby and go use the bathroom. You wanna wait for me? And put baby, yeah, put baby in the car with me and we be okay. All right, so. She listens to her auntie. Except that night, she won't listen to her auntie. But she usually listens to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do I go for? You can't be in it, you just look crazy. <laughs> then my eyebrows make me look like evil. <laughs> Little baby. I think I'll hold on to make a ball. You want kisses? Yeah. She's probably gonna be mad at me because I'm not giving her kisses. She loves kisses. This is my niece, guys. Her name is London. What do I? We're waiting for my sister in the car. Come on. You gotta be. Look at her. She's so nosy. You see the camera? London. Look. She's trying to bite me. Looking at the cars. And then, you wanna see my books Auntie got? Come on. Look, look, Auntie got to show you how books. She just does a little nibble. I love you. She gonna try to bite me? You gonna try to bite me? Oh, I got the key. She biting up the tissue right now, so. Memories. You almost fell on the book. Auntie Sweet Pumpkin. That's how she gonna get used to people and dogs and be friendly. None then. None then. She's a boy. It's just a video. It's not a picture. Oh! I just came in from outside and now I'm chilling in my room. I Chipotle, so I'm finna eat that. And then I'm finna watch Rookies. Is it Rookie or Rookies? I don't know. This has been my bench show lately and I've really been enjoying it. Darling, you're number six feet deep. Oh, it's real hard to break. I'm gonna take off my makeup so I can actually get in the shower. And then, cause I've been outside. We were at like a dog park. Little baby was running around the park. We were picking her up, giving her hugs and kisses and whatnot. And I just need to be clean in my space. So and then I'm going to clean my room because as you guys can probably tell from all my videos recently, my room is a mess. And it's a, it's, it's, I've been living in it. This habit. I love this stuff. For you, 20. Guys, we're back and it's time to clean. I just got out the shower. And now I am about to clean my room because it looks real bad. I'm about to clean and then we're going to get to reading because I want to finish Pet before I go to sleep. I was going to say by the end of tonight, but it's already the end of tonight. It's 11.54 and now I have the surge to just get my life together. And that's what we're going to do because when getting your life together calls for it, you got to get your life together. Also, I am starting a job soon. I just got hired, so I don't know when they're going to call me in. They've just been sending me paperwork to fill out currently, but I got a job. So just be on the lookout for more book hauls because I haven't been able to do as many book hauls as I wanted because obviously unemployed. But now she's employed. <laughs> and we're gonna have the books and also that's another reason why i want to get a lot of my reading done before i start work because sometimes like i've noticed that when i start a new job i get like in a reading slump just because i'm kind of adjusting my schedule and figuring out what works best for me and like time wise with reading so i always get in like a little bit of a reading slump not too much though. but sometimes i get into like a reading slump and i, I don't want that to affect me trying to get my life together so I can just know my reading schedule, know what to expect, and just have my room clean. And you're gonna see throughout the vlog what it's like really is, but let me know if you guys like these kind of vlogs, if they like interest you, if this is something that you would like me to do like weekly or bi-weekly, in addition to the content that I will already be producing, like my reviews, my book calls, any book recommendation videos that I may have. 
those will also be in addition to this so it'll probably be like two uploads a week if i do do like the vlogs so it might be a little bit more for me it's like fun it's lighthearted, and i think i get to talk about more books than just one in one video and i'm guessing that this will prompt me to not only read more but also like just go out more and have more fun because i'm very introverted so oftentimes i like to stay home like me and my sister will go out because she'll like beg me to go out and i'll be like fine this is so fun just like talking about my life and like introducing you guys to me like a different side of me obviously you know like book crazy naysia she loves books she's into books she kind of know my genre but i'm also spinning off so much more into like romance which is so surprising but i'm really excited about it and you guys get to just see me Four, seven. When I'm without you, boy, I feel safe Think you were better than my prescriptions Nothing feels as good as you do If you ever <laughs> Guys, we're back! <laughs> Let me put my sweater on because it's actually just a little bit chilly in my room Just had to turn off the fan It's so weird coming on camera and I don't have any makeup on, but we're going to do it regardless. So, I just finished reading Pet by Akwike Imizi. Guys, it was a really good book. At first, I thought it was like a children's book, so I had to look it up. And it said children's book, and then I was like, what? And it said ages, ages like 12 to like 17, so I'm guessing it's like a young adult book. But I, and I was going to like not read it. <laughs> but I'm actually so very happy I read it because... I think it was such a meaningful book and the ways that a book needs to be meaningful. It touched on some really important topics, seen and the unseen, and what monsters really are, right? So a lot, a lot of times we think of monsters in like the literal sense, right? But and this book is talking about monsters. They, this person is a monster. So not like monsters, big, scary, crazy, uh, but like people who do bad things in that way kind of monsters right and also the same thing goes for angels so there's literal angels and then there's like people who have helped people play so the town that they live in is called lucille and essentially there's like no crime and there's no monsters meaning there's no bad people in lucille and the people who were monsters in lucille were hunted by the angels of Lucille, meaning like the people who helped fight the wars and catch the bad people. The main character, her name is Jam, she's just like, but how do we know there's not any more monsters? And her mom's just like, there's not monsters, you know? And so she's looking up angels and they're looking scary. So, and the story is like, you don't know what a monster looks like. A monster can be anybody. A monster can be the most handsome, most beautiful person in the world. But you won't know that it's a monster because some things are seen and some things are unseen. So essentially this thing called Pet, He's basically like this thing that her mom paints and then he comes to life and Jam and him go on a hunt for monsters and they end up finding a monster in like the most unexpected place for Jam. It's such a good story and it talks about such important topics. I feel like if you can, you should read it. But basically this monster is someone that she knows and trusted and she even like the the internal conflict that she had it was like this person can't be a monster because like like i've talked to them and i've laughed with them and they've come and they've taken care of me and they've cared about me and we didn't know who the monster was until the end like i had no idea who the monster was because they didn't give us any inkling of who the monster was but in the end even though the book says we found a monster i think we truly found two monsters and you'll see by the end of the book because there's there was someone there protecting the monster who shouldn't have protected the monster but the monster was an actual person and it was so shocking to not only them the people in the book but also the community of lucille because they this person was once an angel like once a person who fought the monsters to help create this crimeless good place called Lucille so it was a really good book I was confused for a minute I was like is a monster really a monster and like literal like a real like monster or is it like a person because it was introduced as like someone who could have done something bad but then like as the story goes on it's just it became like kind of weird in the sense that could a monster actually be a monster? Because if an angel is actually an angel, can a monster actually be a monster? But we didn't get really a lot of clarification on it, but I would give this a 4.5 star. So it was a really good book, and I would give it to, if I had kids, I would really want them to read this book 
because it just talks about the scene and unseen like just because you don't see a person being a monster does not mean that they're not being a monster just because you know this person it doesn't mean that they're not a bad person just that means that you haven't seen them be a bad person and it's a really good book and it gets it delves into some really deep topics but it's written in such a way that it's like kind of childish they're not saying what the person did they're just calling them a monster and i we get the implication we we, we understand what they are what they've done because it's been implied but it's never like outwardly stated so it kind of leaves that open to the reader this book had a little bit of lgbtq plus representation in it wait a minute happy pride month guys i forgot to state that ah it's the next day so happy pride month guys for the girls the guys the gays the trans all of them all the people all the people happy pride month and it it's really important that we celebrate this month because i have so many lgbtq plus members in my family my grandparents my cousins my one of my cousins is actually transitioning right now so good luck to her so i'm just happy for y'all so i'm thinking i'm gonna pick another book i don't want to read the new books that i got in this vlog because i just feel like that's cheating because i already i have like a whole tbr but should i just read song of achilles because you know it's pride month hold on let me see oh we have song of achilles by madeline miller I kind of want to read it. How many pages is it? I kind of want to read it, but I also kind of want to read Deal with the Elf King just because I feel like that would be fun. And I'll just do like a video another time reading Song of Achilles. So I kind of want to do like a reading vlog reading this because I know this is such an anticipated book. A lot of people have read it. A lot of people have really good reviews about it. So that I would probably do it another day where I just do it and read it through the whole day because it's actually pretty late. It's like hairy because my cat. There's always something wrong with my books. Like if they're either hairy, they're like sticky for my nephew. That has nothing to do with me because I didn't do that. But this is our next book we're going to read in this video. I don't know how many pages this is. 317 pages, so I'm going to read it. I'm going to start. Let me actually tab up the rest of Pet though. Guys, it has a map. And a table of contents, which is kind of weird, but we're going to keep on. I just started. I'm waiting for my cup to like rinse out. Believe I'll be real sad. Let's both hope that it don't get so bad. Boy, your honey sickly sweet keeps me coming, got me weak. You could kill me, I'd still be dialing your number six feet deep. Oh, it's real hard. page 50 not seeing much of the romance that i'm supposed to see yet but i'm sure i'll get there but i need coffee so i'm gonna go make me a cup of coffee i have this coffee this international delight iced coffee i've never tried this coffee a day in my life <sighs> made with real milk and cream i'm gonna die <laughs> but i ordered the duncan caramel one like the iced coffee that comes in like the little plastic container but they didn't have it so now we have this and i don't know we're gonna test it together Time to taste test and see if this is actually good. If it's not, I'm still gonna drink it because I spent my money on it, but still. Cheers, guys. Eight out of 10, 8.5. It's good though. In fact, I got this at Barnes and Nobles. It's a Studio Gilby mug. And they have other ones that are like Studio Gilby themed as well, which is ironic because I've never watched a Studio Gilby movie because I don't know, I should probably do that. I don't know, but I always love the art. So, we all like have a Studio Gilby themed night or something. Let's get back to reading. <laughs> hey guys, it is day whatever today's date is. I woke up less than an hour ago actually. I am this far in this book. I'm on page 119. I think last time I talked to you guys I was on like page 50. Um, and I am a soul reader. Yes, I am. So it's a pretty decent book thus far. I'm enjoying it. I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that it's not like it doesn't just turn into love immediately because I hate books like that where it's like, oh, you know, I was forced into this. 
situation, this relationship, this marriage, and we hate each other, and then the next page, they are in love and trying to have children. We got our coffee in our Studio Gilby mug again. I got my iPad, cause you know, we gotta watch something. And I'm watching The Rookie. And I also, someone says, that's why you don't read fast because of you watching shows. We're gonna literally fight because I've had people say that to me, like in my personal life. Oh, that's why you're not finished with the book because you're watching this. No, actually I read faster when I watch something because my mind is not, like I grew up in a very loud household. It was always action, always loudness, and then we always had like a family member living with us, whether it was an aunt, an uncle. Yeah, I'm a little less than halfway. Um, 158, 159, page 158, page 159 would be halfway. So let's get her done. Highly recommend this coffee if you're not lactose intolerant. I am lactose intolerant, I'm still gonna drink it because I ordered my Dunkin'. The Uber brought me this and he didn't even tell us in the app so i could be like oh yeah. hi hey guys i'm back and i am finally finished with this book it's actually a couple of days later like two days because i got my period and i was just like uh i'm gonna mind my, my business but i just did my makeup and now i am gonna tell you guys about this book because i finished it like the same day but like then the next day i got my period so i was like i'm not gonna do an update and now here we are <laughs> deal with the elf king by elise kova it wasn't the best book i've ever read i was expecting it to be the best book ever which means don't judge a book by his cover because this cover is is gorgeous beautiful all the good things in the life and the world Look how beautiful this cover is. I would give it like a 2.8. It wasn't giving what I wanted it to give. I don't know what I expected. I think the writing was done really well. I think she did really good writing. I think the descriptions were really good. But I think that the premise of the story was like the marriage and the love that is going to be found later on. I know we know. It just was like, okay, so this is her goal. She ends up accomplishing it, but she's very conflicted. But the love between them was kind of sudden. It was like, we knew it was gonna happen. It was like forced marriage type of trope thing. We knew they were gonna fall in love, be happy, yada, yada, yada. But, and however, like it just, it just happened so quickly. It was like, okay, we don't really like each other. Maybe we even hate each other. Um, and then it went on and progressed into like, okay, we can work to work together. And then it just skyrocketed from there. Like it was like, maybe we could work together. And then it was like, oh shit, we're in love. Basically what this book is about is there's an elf king and there's this tradition that's been going on for about 3000 years. And the elf king from this other place, comes and takes a human queen who is born or develops magic over the course of her life. By the age of 16, they usually have magic, but not in this town. There hasn't been a queen, um, a human queen in a while because nobody is developing magic. But this girl is a human queen because somebody has been hiding her magic from her and from the elf king. So he takes her, they get married. He forces her to say her vows, which I was like, interesting. And then they get into this 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 elf kingdom world place with Fae and all these different types of um, mythical creatures. And she has to be the human queen. They don't like each other. She is like, really like, I don't want to be here. I don't like you. Uh, and he's very like i'm just here to do my duty and that's it he's a very cold person obviously we see like little caring parts of him but it's not too much to like oh i'm in love with you you know what i mean it's just like you're the queen it's my duty to take care of you kind of thing and then they come to a consensus that they have to end this tradition right and he's like fine you have three months and three months happens and they're in love by three months and it wasn't even like a progression of love it was like okay we could work together and figure out how to end this tradition if we can we have three months if not we're gonna continue this tradition and see what happens and after they come to that consensus it just automatic like sexual tension it just progressed to love too quickly it wasn't a book for me so yeah i have another book by her i think i don't know if i want to read it it wasn't bad writing the story just wasn't wasn't that Thank you.